Okay, one more problem that we are going to solve, moment of inertia, but now a little bit more of complication is it? Well, I don't know if I call it a little bit more of complication, let's say that is something li a little bit different. We're gonna just calculate the moment of inertia of a parabola intersected by a straight line. So let's see what we do and how do we do it. So basically what I'm telling you is that we're gonna get a parabola like that intersected by a straight line like that and we have to calculate the moment of inertia of the area generated by those two curves. The first curve is this y squared equal 2x and the second curve is this and is y equal x. How do we calculate moment of inertia? This video I'm gonna do it for moment of inertia with respect to the x direction. Remember, moment of inertia with respect to the x direction. By now you should know the formula by memory. What is the formula for that? Is the integral of, very good, that's it, y squared dA, you got it. Now that means that if we follow the traditional method, we're gonna have to find y, uh, we're gonna have to measure y and find our differential of area perpendicular to that y. And this is their set of axes, is represented there. Now if I'm gonna measure y, that means that y is going to be measured from here and my differential of area is going to be from this side to this side. That's going to be my differential of area where this, if this is y, this part here is the y. Now my whole problem here, if you want to call it a problem, is just finding this from here to here. That's it. And how do we find that? Well that's very easy because this is x, right? This is y. So this part here is the x defined by this equation and this part here is the x defined by the other equation. You can call this x1 if you want to and this one x2. So basically this distance is going to be x1 minus x2 multiplied by dy is going to be my differential of area. Differential of area is going to be x1 minus x2 multiplied by dy. Bam! You got it. That's it. Nothing else. Now what is x1? x1 is this. So my differential of area is x1 is y minus x2 is defined by this. So we have to solve for x. What is x here? x equal y squared divided by 2. y squared divided by 2 multiplied by dy. That's our differential of area. The rest of the procedure, you know it. Plug this into there and solve the equation ix equal the integral of y squared multiplied by this, which is y minus y squared divided by 2 dy. Solve the integral, separate it into integrals, integral of y to the third dy minus the integral of y squared times y squared is y to the fourth, y to the fourth divided by 2, correct, dy. Oh, now the problem comes and you are in the exam and you say, okay, I have to go from this point to that point. I know this point is zero. Why? Well, because I'm setting my axis there. I'm calling it zero. But I'm not so sure if it's zero. So how do I know if that point is zero or what point is that at all? If you ask me in my exam, this is what I'm going to tell you. Look, can you read that? I don't know if you can read. Yes, you can read it. You say, sorry, brother. In case that you can't read it. Now, read it. Sorry, brother. That's what I'm going to tell you. Because, because of what? Because you should know what we are doing here. You have the, no, the knowledge acquired from previous calculus or previous math classes. This is just intersection of two lines, of two equations. So if I want to know what are the points of intersection, the only thing that I have to do is find them. How do you find the points of intersection? Well, I can get this and plug it into there and I can say that y squared equal 2 times x but I'm going to put this x into there so it's going to be equal to 2y because of this. You just use any method that you want to, to find x and y. So if I, if I have that, then I can find that y squared minus 2y equals 0. I can factor this out, y equal y minus 2 equals 0 and then as you can see clearly this has two roots. This, this equation is true when y equals 0 or when y equals 2. Bingo. y equals 0 and y 
equals 2. Now, if y equals 2 and I want to find x, is here, y equal x, so that means that this distance is also 2. Now, from where to where we're going to do it? From here to there, from 0 to this 2, in this particular case, because we are going in the y direction. So, this is going to be from 0 to 2, and from 0 to 2. Every time that I say to 2, I remember the girls dancing ballet, that's the thing they were. 0 to 2, from here, this is the 2 that I'm referring, not this one, this one. So i sub x is going to be equal to, where was i, here, y to the fourth divided by 4 minus y to the fifth and the divided by 5, but 5 times 2 is 10 divided by 10 from 0 to 2. Solve the problem, this is 2 to the fourth divided by 4 minus 2 to the 5 or to the fifth divided by 10. This is 16 divided by 4 is 4. This is 32 divided by 10 is 3.2. 4 minus 3.2, ix equals 0 0.8. What units? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Units. Units to the fourth. Those are the units. I don't know the units. I don't have any units. This problem, this problem doesn't have any units. So units to the fourth. Okay, watch the next one because in the next one I'm going to show how to do IY for the same problem. See you later.